Diane, Nikki, welcome back to the show. Diane, I want to start with you. Points of Light is recognizing Global Volunteer Month all month long. Uh, tell us more about how you are celebrating your volunteers. Absolutely. Global Volunteer Month is an opportunity really for anyone to celebrate the amazing things that people do every day, whether you're a nonprofit celebrating your volunteers, a company like UPS celebrating your employees, or just someone saying thank you to a neighbor for helping out. So we'll be sharing stories all month under hashtag Global Volunteer Month. It's a time to celebrate and inspire. It sure is. And Nikki, a UPS and the UPS Foundation, of course, are known for providing significant support during times of disaster relief, preparedness, um, especially in light of recent disasters in Turkey and Syria. Talk to me about how UPS shows up to make a difference. Sure. You know, at UPS, we say that service is in our DNA, and we don't just move goods, we deliver good throughout the world. Um, some examples are the support that we're giving under human health and humanitarian relief, providing support in communities that have been hit by some of the hurricanes and tornadoes, our support for the citizens of Turkey. Um, this year, uh, we've gone almost a million dollars that we've been donating through our humanitarian relief organizations. And we really believe that the best way that we can make a difference is to mobilize not only our UPSers who love to volunteer, but use our philanthropic dollars and combine that with the UPS logistics network that is unmatched to deliver good around the world. Absolutely, and you're doing great things each and every day, but specifically, Nikki, how will UPS employees participate in Global Volunteer Month this year? Oh, we are so excited about Global Volunteer Month. You know, we've got an army of more than 500,000 employees around the globe, and there is nothing better than seeing those UPSers out in the community in their T-shirts volunteering to make a difference. This year, we're doing something really special. We recognize that our UPSers around the world are often celebrating religious observances, and so we are extending Global Volunteer Month across April and May Go to ahead. double the goodness and give them an opportunity to volunteer when it's best for them. And so we look forward to seeing UPSers with all of their varieties of projects that we're spearheading um, to make a difference in the community. That's so wonderful and such a great idea. And Diane, let's talk about a little bit about the state of volunteerism right now. I mean, I feel like in the last three years, you know, everyone was so impacted by COVID and just everything that was going on in our world, but you also saw people step up, neighbors helping neighbors. Is that what you're seeing at Points of Light? Absolutely. People know that volunteering is more important than ever before. We've done a lot of research in this area and 73% of people believe that but only 66% of people think that they can actually have an impact. So wow. there's a lot of work to be done to get people to realize that every action matters. They can volunteer. They can also think about other ways that they can have an impact like donating money or goods, voting on issues they care about, using their purchase power to support companies that share their values. So really volunteering is just one way that people can get very engaged in their community and make a difference. Yeah, that's that number is so surprising uh, because really when we think about it, just the little tiny things that we do, it has the, a ripple effect. So we got we to gotta get that number better. And Diane, what are you seeing specifically that the community is needing right now? What has come to your attention? Sure, so what we say is that every community community has different and unique needs. So one of the first things you can do is listen and learn to people in your community and then pick a cause that you might care about. That being said, there are of course uh, issues that cut across communities. So for example, the, well the month of April is environment month. So there's a right. lot of environmental issues that can be tackled during the month of uh, Global Volunteer Month. Food insecurity, so meal delivery Always. is something that yeah. cuts across communities. Um, supporting our young people in their education and their growth. And of course, animal care is something that always resonates with a large number of people. So issue by issue depends on community by community, sure. but there are some trends that cut across and you just have to find the thing that matters most to you. Absolutely, something that really resonates and it's it, big or small, just get out there, help and volunteer. And how is Points of Light asking other organizations, nonprofits, again, going back to just even an individual to get involved this month? So Global Volunteer Month is the opportunity to sort of raise awareness and be a cheerleader for volunteering. So we can start by thanking the people who are already volunteering, whether that's at a community organization or at a company like UPS. You can thank a neighbor, and you can also take that first step and look for an opportunity to volunteer, invite a friend to go with you, or ask a friend if you can tag along to their volunteer opportunity. It's just a time to think about what we can do to make change in our community. Absolutely. 
And, and Nikki, any final words from you about the UPS Foundation and, and this very important month? You know, I just want to first say thank you to our friends at Points of Light for spearheading volunteerism, and thank you to all the UPSers around the globe. We've got a commitment to deliver 30 million volunteer hours by wow. 2030, and we are on a pathway to crush that commitment, and we can't do it without the UPSers around the globe. So thank you so much to all the UPSers. Well, I'd like to thank both of you for coming on the show, sharing your time, but most importantly, for the amazing things that your organizations are doing to help those in need and to help neighbors in need. So thank you so much. Thank you.